Hey, it's Megan Cal from Flora and the Novice Explorers. You join us three weeks into our European adventure in our self-built camper van. We began our journey travelling around the UK, adventuring through some of the most beautiful places in England, Wales and Scotland, even as far as the Outer Hebrides. Here's 15 things that we found out about living the van life over the last three weeks. The first thing on our list that surprised us was how easy it was to find a camp spot. We've got an app on our phone called Search for Sites. Uh, there's plenty out there and we find this app really helpful because it points us in the direction of many different um, ways we can camp. Uh, campsites, motorhome stops, services and beaches and even cafes, banks, toilets, things like that and it's really helpful. But that doesn't mean that we've always camped exactly where it showed us to just because the app says so. We've always been selective. At the moment we're very much near the coast or on smaller islands uh, and we find there are places by the coast that you can just park up for a couple of days. You're well out of the way, as long as you're respectful it's absolutely fine. Um, at the minute we're on the South Uist in the Outer Hebrides and we've had some really amazing park up spots like this one. The van is parked just a few feet away up there and this is what we wake up to. And in general, we have found that Scotland is really chill, if not welcomes campers like us. Yeah, it's been a breath of fresh air, really. It's made it so much easier and just means that we can just relax. Uh, we haven't felt on edge or felt like we're intruding too much at all. So it's been absolutely perfect to get used to this sort of lifestyle that we've uh, started. Still live. Yeah, and always look out for no overnight camping signs. They don't want you there. Please don't camp there. Remember to always be a good tourist, take your litter with you and only leave footprints. So my main concern with the design of our van is that it's lacking something semi-important, I think, and that would be a toilet. Yes, our worries about finding public toilets and places to go to the toilet have totally faded away. Yeah, I thought this could be issue numero uno. However, if you play your cards right, um, it's not that bad. No, rules are you see a toilet, you use it. At least try to. One thing that has been a godsend is our little pee pee bottles and they are used on a regular basis. The little pee pee bottles may not be the most secure way of doing it, not ideal for everybody. We don't travel with it contents wise <laughs> uh, we dispose of it in a safe manner as soon as we can because we do not trust the pop top if it was a screw cap maybe so to make our travel experience last as long as possible we've saved a certain amount of money divvied it up and have come out with quite a frugal little budget yes and once you've got your budget you then realize how expensive everything is so for example, we've obviously been doing a lot of driving. Uh, we left our home in Shropshire and drove a long way north to Scotland and there are a lot of motorways on the way. We'd pop in, uh, use the facilities and maybe get a coffee. But after a while you realise that paying three pounds something for coffee is actually quite ridiculous. That alongside campsites that can be more than 25 pounds a night and also eating out regularly, we've now made a new game. Yeah, who can spend the least? We love having what we call a no spend day. It's quite self-explanatory. Um, obviously we're wild camping a lot. So today we haven't spent anything because we've been here since we woke up. We've got uh, everything on board, water, food, uh, electric from the beautiful sun we've got today. So we don't really have to spend anything today. And now it's a game of finding out how we can be even more frugal. Mornings are rough. We just don't want to get out of bed. We've always loved lions, but it seems to be more difficult these days. We thought we'd have more get up and go with our van life adventure, but no, if anything, it's worse. Is it because we've blacked out the window so much we have no idea what time it is? Are we knackered because we're doing more, putting ourselves under stress? Or is it because we're daunted by the things that the day might bring? One thing that we didn't expect is the high peaks and the low troughs of our mood during our van life adventure so far. 
It's not so much that we didn't expect to experience highs and lows, we just didn't think that it would be quite as frequent and also in the same day. You can start off low, something will happen that will take your mood up, but then sometimes something else will happen and you'll go straight back down. Yeah, when three or more things happen at the same amount of time that are bad, it can have quite an effect on your mood. Mm. So, things that have happened, we have dropped the radio on the floor at the side of the van and snapped the aerial off. Unfortunately, that was not long after Meg trapped her thumb in the door. And the weather was also pretty pants. Yeah, that day did not get off to a good start, but fortunately, I think it did pick up in the end. Yeah, we had some good food, some great views, and that always seems to pick us back up again. We've been really lucky with the weather so far, but we have had a fair few days of rain, but that teaches us a lesson and makes us get out and enjoy the fresh air. Yeah, when it's nice outside, we uh, get the drone in the air. We do a lot more filming, especially outside. We can do washing up and just spread out a bit more in the area that we're in. Uh, we do try and film on the bad days as well, but it's made a lot harder. For example, our vlogs consist of a lot of voiceover. That's because it's, some days are extremely windy uh, up here in Scotland and it just destroys the audio. So we have to approach things in a slightly different way, but still be productive. So as we film this video, we're coming to the end of our Scottish, well, UK adventure. We feel that we could have spent a lot more time in Wales and Scotland. Yes, we reckon another month in Wales and a full two months in Scotland. But it's been great to start our adventures in our home country so we can get comfortable and like feel confident in what we're doing. One reason to come back to Scotland is that we didn't get to do much of the North Coast 500, which was the initial plan. So. In the future, that's a perfect reason to come back for a long time. And obviously we'll be going back to Wales as well as it is on our doorstep. Yeah. We've also been really surprised at the amount of phone signal and 4G that we've been receiving, even in rural areas. In the UK, we both have a pretty generous data package, but once we get across Europe, we only have 15 gigabyte each per month. Now that might sound like a lot, but when you want to upload content quite regularly, as we do, it will be a bit of a challenge. So we might find ourselves going to slightly more urban areas to find decent Wi-Fi to upload videos and pictures and keep everyone updated with what's going on. Something we didn't expect is how useful these three things here are, that being the door store on the sliding door, this table and the uh, double seat that swivels. The table we made just so that we could reclassify our van as a motor caravan with the DVLA. They stipulate you need a table, so we built this little one just to uh, abide by the rules. But it turns out that we use it a lot, especially for me when I'm working on the laptop, editing videos and pictures, I just need it. Otherwise, I don't really know where I'd be working and I feel quite stupid for assuming that we didn't actually need a table. Uh, secondly, we've got the door store here, like I mentioned, that stores little things like our toothbrushes, toothpaste, and the blind for this window here, so it's all there, ready to grab, nice and easy. And the swivel seat really helps to open up the space and sort of define different sections of the van. Um, I can sit here out of the way from Meg when she's down that and doing uh, maybe the cooking or getting stuff ready uh, for a day out. Um, I can be sort of like in my little enclosure here and it works really, really well. Um, I'm so glad now that we chose to use all these three items in our build. It is time to admit what we haven't used on our three weeks on the road so far, which is the surfboards and anything in the roof box. Yes, uh, there's a couple of reasons for this. One of them being that our travel so far has been quite quick. Um, we might have had an opportunity to get the surfboards out maybe once, but it's a lot of faff. So we're kind of waiting until we can slow down, chill out and actually make use of what's in the roof box. It's the amount of effort to get it off the roof versus how much we're going to actually be using it. We haven't had the weather for it either. No. Not everything on the exterior of the van, however, has been a waste of time. We have used our bikes that we carry on the rear barn doors, and we've also used our awning once when we were on a campsite. For three days. Lovely. Now, our next point we have proven today. We are currently up in the hills of Scotland at 
10 to 7 at night. Do the tourist attraction things either late on in the afternoon into the evening or do it on days where it's raining and you'll get the best opportunities because no one's here. Yeah, we've got to sort of do as much as we want, take pictures where we want because there's not many people about. Obviously it's dependent on the weather and everything, but yeah, try and sneak in early or late and just work around the uh, busy hours. Yeah, and it means photos with nobody but you in it. Gorgeous. <laughs>
You don't even know that they're in the room. It's great. <laughs> Ideal setup. Um, but it, it's actually worked really well. And I thought that was going to be, like I said, a harder aspect of it, but it's been fine. Um, obviously, there's a long way to go yet, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. So let us know what you think down below. Have you encountered any of these things if you're doing a bit of a van life adventure or a journey or prolonged holiday? Comment. If you think anything that we have discussed has been of value to you, give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more of us. Yep, there'll be a lot more content coming up. We're still relatively early in our travel. Uh, we've just done the UK and we'll be heading to Europe. Yeah. Just going as far as we can for as long as we can. Yeah, we're hoping for about a year. So this is the first three weeks review of what we've learned. So yeah, yeah so thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Just before you click away from this video, please check our links below. There's one to our blog and all of our social media's email address if you wish. Please get in contact if you'd like to ask questions or just follow what we're doing. Yeah. We will be uploading our first month's budget video next.